Hi, my name is Mary Colen and this is your C1 CPY signature class. This level 1 set sequence does have challenging parts, so please be kind to yourself and just have fun. Let's get started. Let's start in child's pose. Come to the middle of your mat, bring your big toes to kiss, open your knees wide, travel your hands forward, surrender your torso down if it's available, nozzle your forehead into the earth, roll your head from side to side, press through the circles of your palms to lift up your elbows, sink your hips closer to your heels breathe and settle in to your first posture whenever you feel like you're hanging on to your breath today in your practice you can always come down to your mat into child's pose if that serves you best and rest and breathe here until you're ready to rejoin at any point in your practice. Let's engage your Ujjayi breath, your victorious breath. Breathe through your nose, seal your lips, and as you breathe out through your nose, constrict the muscles in the back of your throat, creating a whispery sound. This audible breath helps you create heat in your body, also to get you to be connected with the present moment. And take two more cycles of breath here on your own. Inhale. Press yourself up into tabletop. Align your hands underneath your shoulders. Knees underneath your hip bones, tuck your toes under, inch your hands slightly forward first, exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Sink your heels down, lift your hip bones up, rotate your biceps forward. So align your hands so much so it feels good in your shoulders, if you're tighter you can always find a wider stance in your hands. Your Index finger points forward. <laughs> Hide your heels behind your tippy toes. Option to pat out your legs here. Hollow out your belly. And if you feel especially tight in your hamstrings right now, I recommend to find an even deeper bend in your knees to find that length in your spine, that elongation in your neck and spine. Come back to stillness, inhale, gaze forward to the top of your mat, exhale, ragdoll pose, step behind your wrists, so your feet are either hip width distance or wider. Come into ragdoll by deeply bending into your knees, hollow out your belly, an option to grab for opposite elbows. Release the crown of your head down. Use that weight to find some release in your spine. Maybe you want to shake your head. Switch your grip. And if you want to sway a little more, go for it. Release your hands down. Toe here, your feet together. Either you find a comfortable distance or bring your big toes to touch and a slight distance between your heels. With bent knees, slowly roll yourself up. Inhale, reach your shoulders up. Exhale, standing at attention, samasthiti hi. Bring your hands in front of your heart, your night. Option to close your eyes and bow your head forward. Usually this is the moment to set your intention, however, it's never mandatory. If you'd like to use one and nothing comes to mind, I'm offering you, I'm offering you the intention of connecting yourself with your breath, bringing yourself back into the present moment whenever it feels challenging. When the breath and the movement come together and melt together, that's when they become one threat that carries you through 
the fabric of your practice. Take one more conscious breath in, conscious breath out. Flutter your eyes open, liberate your arms by your side, palms facing forward. Inhale, mountain pose, sadasana, reach your arms up, breathe here and hold. Reach all of your tippy toes up, spread them wide, root them down, press down through the inner and outer corners of your heels. Rotate your inner thighs back as you pack at your outer hip bones or glute muscles in. Pull your navel in, reach up, take one more inhale. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, bring your hands together. Travel your hands down, hinge from your hips. Release your hands toward the mat. Option here to pat out your legs. Finding even more warmth in your hamstrings, more release in your spine and neck. Come back to stillness. In a halfway, let's order to Nasa. Place your hands onto your shins. Extend the crown of your head forward. Loop your shoulders up toward your ears and then send them away from your head toward your hip bones. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, high to low plank. Now I'm gonna slow down first. Come into high plank, plant your hands down. Underneath your shoulders, step your feet back, hip width distance. Pull your belly button in as you reach up through your sternum. Push your heels back. Take a deep inhale. Hinge forward, exhale, low plank, hug your elbows in. So they're creating a 90 degree angle without losing the firmness in your legs and core. Now you may stay here with your knees lifted or lower your knees down and tuck your feet. You have the option to come up, inhale into Cobra Pose. Press yourself up through your palms, your shoulders are over your wrists, your legs are still firm. Or if you have your knees lifted, you can come up right away into an upward facing dog. If you do so, lift up your hip bones, firm up your core, so important to protect your lower back. And when you come into your exhale, downward facing dog, tuck your toes under, lift your hip bones up. This is a Chaturanga Dandasana, however, you can always skip it and come right away from a height plank into downward facing dog. We have quite a few of those throughout class today, so feel free to skip whenever is needed to protect your wrist and shoulder joints. Let's flow through our sun A. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold, come to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. You choose. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in for length. Exhale, sink your heels slightly lower. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, mountain pose, reach up into the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, you choose again. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Great job, let's move forward. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, come to the top of your mat into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Deep bend into your knees. 
Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana, draw your tailbone down and back, reach your arms up. Stay here and breathe. Drag your tailbone down and back. Pull your belly button in as you open up your collarbones and chest. Rotate your biceps back and in. Take a deep inhale, find your edge. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, fly your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Place your right foot in between your hands. Angle down your left heel. So your left tibia toes is slightly forward, your right knee on top of your ankle. Inhale, warrior two, virabhadrasana two. Reach your right arm forward, your left arm back. Stay here and breathe. Press down through the pinky edge of your left foot to activate your left leg. Wrap your right outer thigh in to draw your right knee in the direction of your second toe. Reach up through all sides of your torso. Gaze over your front middle finger. Imagine there's one person on each side pulling your arms. So that's how much activation you want in your triceps, in your whole arms. Soften your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, reach forward as much as you can. Exhale, extended side angle, Tita Pajrakonasana. Take tuck your arms to six and 12. Recommit to your front lunge. Option to case up. Press your right forearm into your right inner thigh. You always have the option to rest your right elbow onto your thigh. Without losing the activation in your obliques and core, open up your chest. Inhale, reverse warrior, Paravita Vyabhadrasana. Place your left hand down toward your back leg. Reach your right arm up. Stay here and breathe. Still have your bend in your right leg. Press through the knife edge of your back foot. Pull your belly button in and this time hide your left shoulder slightly behind your right shoulder as you soften your right shoulder away from your ear. Gaze up if that feels good on your neck. Take one more inhale. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga. Frame your front foot first with your hands. Come onto your left tippy toes. Step back and flow. Again, you can always skip it. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Great. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Place your left foot in between your hands. Cement your right heel down and back. So your right tippy toes are gazing slightly forward to the right corner of your mat. Left knee on top of your ankle in direction of your second toe. Inhale, warrior two, virabhadrasana two. Blossom your arms open like a flower to the front and back. Stay here and breathe, adjust your feet. Keep the bend in your front leg from your left outer thigh in. Pull your navel in as you widen your collarbones. Reach through both directions of your fingers to firm up your arms, your triceps. Melt your shoulders away from your ears. Gaze over your front middle finger. Inhale, reach forward like there's something really important you want to get. Exhale, extended side angle, arrow your arms to north and south. Again, front leg stays bent. Open up your chest. Activate your oblique muscles, your belly. Option to place your left elbow onto your left thigh without losing the integrity of the firmness in your core section. Option also gaze up toward your top arm. Beautiful. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach your left arm up. Your right hand parks onto your back leg. Re-establish the firmness in your legs. Find your front bend. 
Snap your belly in. Hide your right shoulder slightly behind your left. And then melt your left shoulder away from your ear. Take one more inhale. Exhale, high to low plank. Plant your hands around your foot. Come onto your right tippy toe. Step back and flow down. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Let's flow through our sun B twice. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step forward into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Reach your arms up. Deep bend in your knees. Exhale, forward forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, you guessed right. High to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right away, inhale, reach your right leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, fly your left foot up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, high to low plank. You got this. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take one deep inhale. Big exhale. One more time, deep breath in. Big exhale out. Let's flow one more time. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold, step forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Deep bend in your knees. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, send your right foot up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, you guessed it, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, fly your left foot up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Great job. Take a deep, full inhale. Big breath out. One more time. Inhale. This time, side out. Come down to your knees. We're using this wonderful heat now to work on our core muscles. So come down into Supta Baddha Konasana sit-ups. Bring your soles together. Open your knees wide. Lower onto your back. Interlace your hands behind your neck. Gaze up toward the ceiling. Maybe you have a sky above you. <laughs> Take a full breath in. Lengthen up through your spine. Exhale, lift. Lower. Lift. Lower. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Press the soles of your feet together. 
keep your knees wide. Option intensify your practice by lifting your feet up. As you reach up, see that you're reaching toward the ceiling rather than reaching forward. Lift your shoulders away from your mat for eight, seven, six, five, only four, three, two, and then one. Great job. Hug your knees in. Bring your knees right on top of your hip bones. Shins are parallel toward the earth. Bring your hands again behind your neck into lace. Lengthen up first. Exhale, twist to the right. Center, twist, center, twist. As you twist to the right, extend your left leg. As you twist to the left side, extend your right leg. This is your yogi bicycle. Elbows wide here, flex your toes, and keep your knees right on top of your hip creases. You got this. <laughs> it's a lot, I know. <laughs> you can always lower your feet down if that serves you better. This is about your oblique muscles. <sighs> Just for four, three, two, and one. Amazing. Oops, I planned. Sorry. Hug your knees in. <laughs> Find a big body stretch, reach your arms up over your head, extend your legs out, point your tippy toes away from you, take a deep full inhale, exhale, draw your knees again into your heart, grab behind your thighs, rock and roll yourself up two or three times, have some fun, <laughs> come into boat pose Navasana, set your heels down, Flex your toes here. It's more about length in your spine. So if you want to stay down here, that's absolutely cool. Option to grab behind your thighs. Option to lift up your feet. So you do so, keep your chest open. Loop your shoulders away from your ears. Pull your belly in and open your collarbones wide. Option to, option to open your arms option to find your edge by extending your legs gaze out in front of you hold for four three two and one great job cross your legs do some baby cats and cows just to massage your back when you're ready meet me back in downward facing dog Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, reach your right leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Place your right foot closer to your right thumb. Stack your left heel on top of your tippy toes. Inhale, crescent lunge. Anjanasana, reach your arms up. Hold and breathe here. Micro bend your left knee to bring your front hips closer to your rib cage to ignite your core muscles. Right knee is on top of your right ankle, tracking in direction of your second toe. Drag your right hip crease slightly back, your left hip crease forward. Open up your chest, take a deep inhale. Reach up your arms, exhale, prayer group in front of your heart. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, revolve crescent. Twist on your core first. When you're ready, hook your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Option to come down onto your left knee to focus more on your twist. Stay strong in your left leg. Draw your right hip crease slightly back. Pull your belly button in. And send your thumbs toward your heart space. Reach up through the crown of your head. Take one more inhale. Exhale, twist a little more. Breathe in. Exhale, gaze down. Come into runner's lunge. 
Plant your hands down. Option to lower your left knee. Untuck your left toes. Inch your right foot forward toward the right corner of your mat. Either you are staying on your palms or so you come down to your forearms. You may use a block or steady books to place your forearms on your books as well. Depending on what your hip crease is allowing you right now in this moment, be gentle to yourself, please, and reconnect with your breath. Slow it down with longer inhales and exhales. Inhale, press yourself up through your palms. Exhale, high plank, tuck your left toes under, step your right foot back. Rock your weight into your right hand, come onto the knife edge of your right foot. Inhale, side plank, Vashistasana. Stack your feet, rainbow your hip bones up. Reach your left hand as high as you can to open up your chest, to pull out of your right shoulder socket. You got this. You always have the option to lower your right knee. Take one more inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Place your left foot closer to your left thumb. Spike your right heel on top of your right tippy toes. Inhale, crescent lunge. Reach your arms up. Hold and breathe here. Bring your left knee on top of your ankle. Tracking in the direction of your second tippy toe. Light bend in your right knee. Firm up your core muscles as you open up your chest. Drag your left hip crease slightly back, your right hip crease forward. Take a deep inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, bring your palms together in front of your heart. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, revolve crescent. Twist from your core first, please. When you're ready, hook your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Option again to come down to your right knee. When you do so, so focus on your heart space as it gets closer to your thumbs. Firm up your right leg. Stay in your front lunge. Reach up through your neck. Take one more inhale. Exhale, twist a little more. Take breath in. Exhale, gaze down, come into runner's lunge. Plant your hands down, option to lower your right knee. Your tippy toes can come down as well. Travel your left foot forward. So keep your left knee behind or on top of your left ankle. And then lower down to whatever height serves you best. And take this moment again to reconnect with yourself. Notice the texture of your breath. If you need to release some heat, you can always open your mouth. You now press yourself up through your palms Exhale, high plank, tuck your right toes under, step your left foot back, sink your weight into your left hand, come onto the knife edge of your left foot, inhale, side plank, vashistasana, reach your right arm up, you have the option to lower your left knee, <laughs> stack your feet, rainbow your hip bones higher to activate your oblique muscles, and reach up through your right fingertips. Maybe you want to gaze up through your palms. Take one more inhale. Exhale. Chaturanga Dandasana. 
inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog that was awesome <laughs> let's move forward inhale gaze forward exhale come to the top of your mat into forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale fold deep bend in your knees inhale chair pose reach your arms up exhale prayer grip in front of your heart inhale inch forward <laughs> exhale prayer twist to the right so twist from your core first please and when you're ready you may hook your left elbow to the outside of your right knee press your palms together to activate your chest muscles if you see that your left knee wants to creep forward bring it back in so your knees are parallel draw your tailbone down and back so your head is above your hip bones <laughs> reach through your heart you got this take a deep inhale here stay here and twist on your exhale more inhale gaze down exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale gorilla pose so bring your feet hip width distance you have the, either your option to hook your big toes with your index and middle finger or you place your palms underneath your feet find a deep bend in your knees here rest your belly onto your thigh massage your wrist with your tippy toes let your head surrender here sink away more forward into your toes slowly release your hands underneath your feet till here your feet together again deep bend in your knees inhale chair pose Utkatasana. Exhale, bring your palms toward your heart. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, prayer twist to the left. Twist from your core, please. When you're ready, hook your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. And then see if your right knee wants to come forward. Bring it back in. Drag your tailbone down and back. And send your heart toward your thumbs and see if your neck is lengthened all the way toward the front take one more inhale stay and twist a little more on your exhale inhale gaze down exhale fold forward inhale halfway lift exhale crow pose bakasana this is your inversion time I will demonstrate the crow pose if you just want to chill out and go right away into child's pose that's absolutely fine bring your palms together down <laughs> not together but onto your mat shoulder width distance now bend into your elbows so they're creating a tiny bit of a shelf lift up through your tippy toes bring your knees to the outside of your triceps Firm them in, gaze six inches in front of your fingertips, take a breath in, exhale, pull your navel in, shift forward. Now you have the option to either reach one foot up or the other, or both, and you try it out, give it a go or not, absolutely cool. Just meet me back in child's pose, please. <sighs> Recollect yourself here when you're ready. Take a deep, full inhale. And a releasing exhale. 
One more time, full breath in. And big exhale. <sighs> Meet me back in downward facing dog, please. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inner chair pose, reach up. Exhale, you go pose on the right Garudasana. Swing your right arm underneath your left arm. Connect your palms and wrists. Option to find a bear hug instead. Now travel your right leg up. Cross it over your left leg. Either find a kickstand, single, or a double bind. Take a deep inhale, lengthen up through your spine. Exhale, sink a little lower with your tailbone down and back. Stay here and breathe. Love out your hip bones. So they're reaching forward like headlights. Draw your belly in. Lift your elbows up in height of your shoulders. Gaze through your arms. Find your focus point, your drishti point. Stay for one more inhale. Find your edge on your exhale. Inhale, chair pose, untangle your arms and legs. Exhale, ego pose on the left side. Sweep your left arm under your right arm. Connect your palms, bring your wrists to kiss. If you found a bear hug before, find it again, please. Lift your left leg up, cross it over your right leg for kickstand, single or double bind. Take a breath in, lift up through your sternum. Exhale, find your chair <laughs> with your tangled legs. Gaze out in front of you. Snap your belly in as you open up your chest. Draw your elbows in height of your shoulders. Gaze out in front of you. Reconnect with your drishti. Stay for one more inhale. Find your deepest expression on your exhale. Listen up, inhale, mountain pose. Untangle your legs and arms. Reach your arms up. Exhale, prepping for dancers pose. Snap to jasna. Draw your right elbow down. Kick your right foot back. Capture the inside of your right foot. You may want to use a strap and loop it around your foot. That's a great option too. Inhale, lift up your left arm. Exhale, dance this pose. Kick your right foot back. And when you're done kicking, hinge from your hips, reach out. Lift your left arm up, open up your chest. So you're creating a teardrop shape with your right leg and back. Dial your right hip crease lower. Option to soften your left knee for more support. Gaze out in front of you. Awesome. Inhale, slowly come back up to mountain. Exhale, prepping for dances on the left. Drop your left elbow down. Send your left foot back. Capture the inside of your left foot. Again, you may use a strap here. Hug your inner thighs together. Inner reach your right arm high. Exhale, dances pose. Kick back until you're done kicking. Inch from your hips. Reach your chest forward. And your arm wants to reach high into the sky. Flex your toes. Open up your chest. <laughs> Gaze in front of you. Find your deepest ex expression. Great job. Inhale, mountain. Access standing at attention. Samasthiti, you bring your hands to your heart. Now this time I'm gonna face you. Getting into our tree pose, Rikshasana. If you need to use a wall, you can always bring one hand onto a wall to support you. So I'm gonna mirror you right now. So come on to your right tippy toes. Open your right knees. You may stay here in your kickstand 
or place your right foot into the inside of your left calf or left thigh. Please avoid your knee. And when you do so, keep your hip bones leveled and facing forward. Pull your belly button in as you widen your chest. You may stay here or hold on to the wall or you reach your arms up. Imagine you're a big tall tree and these are your branches and the fingers are your flowers so they're all opening up. Gaze out in front of you. Take one more deep full conscious breath in. Exhale, bring your hands back to your heart. Send your knee forward first before you lower your foot down. Let's do the other side. Come on to your left tippy toes. Open your left knee. You may use a wall here again. Place your left foot into the inside of your right leg. Again, avoid your knee, please. So just either your inner thigh or inner calf. When you just to see if your hip bones are leveled forward, you use your outer thigh muscles to open up your knee. Option to place your hands in front of your heart or you open up your arms again. Maybe you want to challenge your balance and gaze up or you want to close your eyes. Keep your core strong. Take one more deep inhale, lengthen into the sky. Exhale, hands back to your heart. Send your knee forward, slowly lower down. Let's slow down. Come to the top of your mat. Inhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your right leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Place your right foot closer to your right thumb. Anchor down your left heel so your left toes are gazing forward to the left corner of your mat. Right knee on top of your ankle, so really find a firm, stable stance first. Inhale, warrior one, Virabhadrasana one, reach your arms up here. Hold and breathe. Press down through the outer edge of your left foot to an ideal left leg. Pull your right hip crease slightly back, your left hip crease forward. And sink your weight into your front heel. Reach up through all sides of your torso. Inhale, reach up into the sky with your arms. Exhale, warrior two. Open up your arms in front and back. Adjust your legs first. Great. Inhale, straighten out your front leg. Reach forward, sassy kick your hips back. Exhale, triangle pose, trikonasana. Tick-tock your arms to six and 12. Lightly place your right hand on, ton on top of your shin. Option for a block as well, or a strong book. <laughs> as you find your expression, press down still through your back heel. Pull your navel in. And here, avoid uh, finding hyperextension in your knee, rather find a soft bend. So sink your weight into the front tomant of your right foot. Beautiful job, spiral your heart up, so much to do. Inhale, come up, back to standing. Exhale, parallel your feet. Inhale, glow your heart up. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold, press the right padottanasana, a hinge from your hips. Release your palms down. You may want to keep your hands right underneath your shoulders, or you walk them slightly back underneath your elbows. Surrender your head down. Avoid uh, collapsing into the outer edges of your feet, so still press down the inner edges of your feet. Lightly bend your knees. 
and surrender and breathe. Sometimes it helps me to find my favorite color for my breath, which is pink. <laughs> Theme of the party. And that does help me to stay grounded and connected and calm. Maybe you have your favorite color. Maybe you feel that coming into your body, filling you up with energy. Inhale, walk your hands forward, pull your belly in, exhale, open up your arms, inhale, come all the way up to standing, exhale, warrior two, take one more inhale, exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga dandasana, inhale, upward facing dog, Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time and then we're cooling down. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Place your left foot closer to your left thumb. Cement your right heel down, right toes are gazing forward at an angle. Stack your left knee on top of your ankle. So find a comfortable, stable stance here. Inhale, warrior one, mirror, badrasana one, reach your arms up. Stay here and breathe, find your position. Press down through your back foot so everything is firm. Pull your left hip crease back, your right hip crease forward. Keep your left knee bent. Pull your belly button in. Reach up through your heart space and our hands. Take one more inhale. Exhale, warrior two, transition. So open up your arms, align your feet, either heel to arch or heel to heel, whatever serves you best. Inhale, lengthen out your front leg. He reach forward, sassy kick your hips back again. Exhale, trikonasana, triangle pose. Send your left arm down, down your right arm up here. You may just want to rest your left hand lightly onto your left shin or find a block for more support. Here it's really about finding length in your spine, engagement in your obliques and core muscles. It's not about too much finding the depth here. <laughs> we want to find length. <laughs> Send the weight into the toe mount of your front foot. As you release your inner thigh, uh, down and the outer side down until you find the tracking of your knee, knee in with your second toe. Open up your chest, spiral your heart up, optional gaze up. Inhale, come back up to standing. Exhale, parallel your feet. This time, interlace your hands behind your lower back, light bend in your elbows. Inhale, puff up your chest. Exhale, white legged forward fold. Pasarita Padajasana. C. Hinge from your hips. Surrender your torso down toward the space in between your legs. And here it's recommended to keep your elbows bent. You may also use a strap or a towel to hold onto. And just breathe here. Mm. Release your grip, tee out your arms. Inhale, come halfway up, pause, exhale. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, warrior two. Take one more inhale. Exhale, high to low plank. Chaturanga, Dandasana, your last one. <laughs> Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale, reach your right leg up. Exhale, half pigeon pose, Agabhata Raja Kabhutasana. Drag your right knee closer to your right wrist. Scooch your right chin forward. Release your left foot down. Untuck your left toes. Flex your right to be toes. You always have the option to find a supine figure four instead. 
Gaze over your right shoulder to see if your left tippy toes are pointed back. Are your hip bones leveled forward like headlights? You may stay here, take a deep inhale, lengthen up through your heart, roll your shoulders away. Option, exhale to come down into a sleeping pigeon. You may rest your forehead onto your mat, your towel, your hands. And just breathe here for a moment and keep your hips level, please. Lots of time for your breath to slow down. Take long inhales and exhales to let your heart pump a little slower. <laughs> and slowly walk your palms back if you're in sleeping pigeon. Press yourself up, take a breath in, tuck your left toes under, reach your right leg up, shake it out. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, half pigeon pose. Now send your left knee right behind your left wrist. Good chair, shin forward. Walk your right foot back. Option again to find a supine figure four instead. Okay, so we left shoulder. See if your right tippy toes are pointed back. Are your hip bones level? Inhale, reach up through your heart. Open up. Exhale, option to stay here or come down to a sleeping pigeon. Keep in mind, one side can feel totally different than the other side. It's not a contest. This is just your body communicating with you that it is maybe tighter and needs more love. yourself back up. Inhale, tuck your right toes under, lift your left leg up, shake it out. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward to high plank. Exhale, lower down with control. Untuck your feet, palms by your rib cage, pin your elbows in. Inhale, cobra pose, bhujangasana, lift up your chest. Roll your shoulders away from your ears. Dig your toenails into the earth to lift up your kneecaps to charge up your legs. Option to lift up your hands off of your mat. Take one more inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, lower down to your left cheek. Send your arms down by your side. Option to wiggle and jazz your hip bones. And try to get your back to center. Send your heels closer to your butt cheeks. Capture the outside of your ankles or feet. Your inner thighs are super magnets, so they want to stay closer together. Keep your knees up with distance. Inhale, bow pose down your asana. Send your feet back, lift up your chest, roll onto the softer part of your belly, flex your toes, gaze more down than forward to soften the muscles in your neck. Inhale, find your edge. Exhale, lower down to your right cheek. Let your legs go softly. Release your arms by your side. Option to wiggle your hip bones or windshield wiper your legs. 
<sighs> Send your chin back to center. Inhale. Tabletop. Exhale. Come onto your knees. Play some hip width distance. Park your hands onto your lower back. Prepping for camel pose. Pull your elbows in. Inhale, lift up through your heart. Exhale, slowly track your heart space back as you keep pushing your hip bones forward. So be mindful of your lower back. Bend from your upper spine, your thoracic spine to find your Ustrasana. Keep your hip bones over your knees and find, find deep inhales and exhales inhale come back up exhale sit on your heels for a moment release your palms either down to ground or expose your palms to receive energy you may close your eyes here for just one cycle of breath Flutter your eyes open. Come onto your butt cheeks. Send your legs out and come onto your back. Knees are over your heels, so your heels are hip with distance. Let your fingers graze your heels slightly. Inhale, bridge pose, Sadhu Bandha Shavangasana. Lift up your hip bones and your chest. Roll your weight into your heels. Draw your tailbone toward your knee creases to activate your quads and glutes. Oh, my nose is so itchy. Oops. <laughs> Option to interlace your hands underneath your lower back. Roll your shoulders under. Take one more inhale. Exhale, lower down. Come into Supta Baddha Konasana, bringing the soles of your feet together. Open your knees wide. You may place one hand onto your belly, the other onto your heart. Feel the rise and fall of your belly. Sending awareness back into your breath. Now notice your heart rate slowly finding more and more softening. Bring your hands to the outside of your knees and close your knees like a book. <laughs> Hug your knees in. Place your hands behind your thighs. Rock and roll yourself up. Find a seat. Lengthen out your legs. Light bend in your knees. Flex your toes. Inhale, reach your arms up. Access seated forward fold Paschimottanasana. Hinge from your hips first. Reach, reach, reach out. And let your hands land where they, where they want to land. Surrender your head down. Bring your belly to kiss your thighs. And meld into this expression. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, scoot your hip bones forward, lower down onto your back. Into happy baby. Now you can grab for your thighs, your calves, or your feet for Ananda Balasana. Send your knees closer to your armpits. See that your entire spine is lowering down. Rest your shoulders down, tuck your chin slightly in. You may want to bend one leg or the other. Find some happy baby expression. Ah! <laughs> Hug your knees back in. Hold on to your right knee, extend your left leg out, take a breath in. Exhale, supine twist, Jatara Parvi, Parivatanasana. Bring your right knee over to your left. 
Tee out your arms, gaze over to the right side or up. Scoot your left hip crease slightly under your right. Take a breath into your spine. And as you exhale, twist a little more. Inhale, yeah, come back to center with your knees. Hug your left knee in. Extend your right leg out. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, supine twist. Send your left knee over to the right side of your space. Scoot your right hip bone underneath your left. Tear out your arms. Option to drop your head over to the left side as well. Let your shoulders get heavy. Breathe in for length. Breathe out for a gentle twist. Come back to center with your knees. Hug yourself, find a tiny ball in your body, bring your forehead toward your knees. Take one more deep inhale. Exhale, Shavasana. Send out your legs, your arms by your side. Surrender down, soften your face, the space in between your eyebrows. Unclench your jaw. Let your hands open up. Flare your feet open. Let everything become heavy. Rest here. That will guide you out in a few moments. You may rest here a little longer if you'd like to move on with your day or if you'd like to wake up. Take a smooth breath into your body. Soft exhale. Guide your thumbs across your finger pads. Wiggle your tippy toes. Roll out your ankles and your wrists. And a big body stretch. Inhale, reach your arms up over your head. Exhale, hug your knees in and come into a fetal pose on your right or left side, whatever side is calling you. And use your bicep as a little cushion for your head. And check in with your body, how it's feeling right now after all this breathing and moving. What has changed for you and slowly press yourself up into an easy seat sukhasana or any seat that serves you best cross your legs you may keep your eyes closed here bring your hands to your heart
Take a deep conscious breath in. Feel the texture of your breath one more time. Conscious breath out. You can be so proud of yourself for practicing today, for moving, for sweating, for breathing, for letting go. Guide your thumbs to your third eye center, your Ajna, the place in between your eyebrows. Take one more inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, you may bow forward. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you soon again. Bye.